Over the past several months, we have seen the debate rage about transgender athletes in sports, specifically around the topic of the NCAA championships, women swimming with Leah Thomas, a biological man who competed for three years as a biological man in college before deciding that they were a different gender, and now they identify as a woman and are competing against actual real biological women and dominating. On one side, you have people saying this is not fair. Clearly, it's not fair inherently. This is not fair. And on the other side, you have the mainstream media, you have the blue check marks, and you have the absolute lunatics that are trying to promote this, that are okay with biological males destroying female sports. But unfortunately, you have a lot of people that have been quiet about this in the sport themselves. You had a lot of female athletes who refused to take a stand for fear of being labeled something. Well, now someone else is speaking out about this. Emily Seabom joins transgender athlete debate, says biological males will always be faster and stronger. Australian gold medal swimmer Emily Seabom has joined the transgender debate. Olympic gold medalist Emily Seabom has joined the debate saying biological males are always going to be faster and stronger and female athletes deserve a level playing field. The 29-year-old swimming champion's comments come after fellow Aussie Olympian Emma McKean said earlier this week she wouldn't want to race against a biological male because it's just not fair. Speaking of nine today, Seabom said she agreed with McKean. Of course, biological males are always going to be faster and stronger than I will ever be in my life. And her fellow Australian teammate said this, Aussie Olympian Emma McKean wades into transgender sporting debate. The six-time gold medalist weighed in after Scott Morrison's latest dig at cancel culture. I mean, personally, I wouldn't want to be racing against someone who is biologically a male, so that's a concern. I don't think I'm going to have to race against a trans swimmer. I don't think it's going to come to that point. But now it's a growing thing. The sport has to think about how to handle it, how to deal with it, because you want to be inclusive, but you don't want to have females racing against swimmers who are biologically male because it's just not fair. Simple as that. And now you have Emily Seabom saying this. I want to compete on the same level playing field. I want to know I'm in the same field where everyone has the same ability of strength, same ability of speed, has the same ability of power. I need to make sure that's a priority because we want that level playing field. We want to be able to swim and the races to be neck and neck because we are even. We don't want people winning by 8, 10 seconds. If I was swimming in a male event, I wouldn't even place. I wouldn't have got a medal in Tokyo. And a male who came in eighth in Tokyo in the same event as me would have won the event by about five or six seconds. So there's the difference that we're talking about. This comes on the heels of the Virginia Tech swimmer speaking out against this and, of course, getting canceled by a lot of people online. But this is what needs to happen. Female athletes, female swimmers specifically, need to come out and push against this. Push against this disgusting behavior that the NCAA has allowed, the disgusting behavior the mainstream media has perpetuated and that they've propped up and that they've promoted. Biological males should not be competing with biological women. Bottom line, that doesn't mean that they don't deserve to exist. That doesn't mean that maybe you can create some other like faction for them to do. I, I don't care, but they shouldn't be swimming against real women. Bottom line. Let me know what you think about more female athletes finally speaking out about this. Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.